Hello friends, it's Christy Marcotte. In today's video, I'll be using some new Christmas products from Pretty Pink Posh. The pattern paper I'm using for my cards is from Sunny Studio. This is from their Subtle Gray Tones collection. I'm using one of the new stencil sets from Pretty Pink Posh. This is their Layered Mitten set. There are three different stencils that you use together to create some adorable little mittens. For the main color of my mittens, I'm using the Rocking Red Ink color from Katherine Pooler. I'll just add it all over the background of this pattern paper piece. I am using a mini stencil mat from Waffle Flower to hold the paper and the stencil in place. I'll remove the first stencil and add the next stencil, which will add the cuff to all of the mittens. And I'm using the Grass Skirt Ink color from Katherine Pooler. For this card, I'm using very traditional Christmas colors in red and green. And I really like the look of the subtle gray pattern paper for the background. I selected a gingham design. The final layer will add the stripes, polka dots, and some snowflakes to all of the mittens. And I'm using the same rocking red color. By using the same ink color, it'll add that nice tone on tone look to the mittens. This stencil set would also be a lot of fun using several different ink colors. I have just one more row to finish. Then I'll take that piece and cut it down to four inches by five and a quarter inches. Put some ATG tape on the back and layer it on some red cardstock. Then I'll add my card front onto a card base. All of my cards in this video are American Standard A2 size, four and a quarter inches by five and a half inches. Next, I'll add a wonky stitched rectangle die cut. And I cut this out from some white shimmer cardstock. I put some foam dimension on the back side and I'll adhere it in the center of my card. So now you'll only see that very outside row of the mittens. Now I'll use the new mitten shaker die set to create a fun little shaker. I use some green glitter foam for the outside piece. Then I use the same die to cut out a foam piece. That way I have some dimension for my shaker. I have a piece of acetate that I'm holding up to that green glitter foam piece. And I'm just trimming it out so I'll have the perfect size to fit for my shaker. For the background of the mitten, I'm using some gray and white polka dot paper. The white foam I'm using has adhesive on both sides. So I'll remove the release paper on the one side, add my acetate piece. Then anywhere that acetate was sticking over the edge, I'm using my scissors to just trim it off. Now I'll add some liquid adhesive on top of that acetate piece and adhere my green glitter foam piece right on top. And I will place an acrylic block on top while I wait for that glue to adhere. Once that's ready, I can add the shaker mix and I'm using the new Holiday Cheer Mix from Pretty Pink Posh. And I will shake the mitten to make sure none of those shaker pieces are overlapping each other. Then I'll remove the release paper even though there is adhesive, I'll still add a little bit of liquid adhesive as well. Just want to make sure it all stays together. And if you prefer to have a really full shaker, you can always fill that up with lots of the shaker mix. I'll add the pattern paper piece on the back to seal everything in place. So there is my fun little shaker mitten. I'll put liquid adhesive on the back and adhere it to the front of my card. And I'll put that acrylic block on top for some added weight while I make sure that glue adheres. Isn't that so much fun? I love how this shaker turned out. For a sentiment, I'm using Pretty Pink Posh's Holiday Scripts Stamp and Coordinating Die Set. It's not part of this year's release, but I thought the sentiment worked perfectly with the card. I stamped out Winter Greetings. Before adhering the sentiment to the card, I'll add a green and white twine bow. I have two pieces of twine that I tied the bow together, so I have this fun double bow. And I'll adhere it in place using a small glue dot. And I'm attaching it right on the very bottom portion of the acetate. Now I'll adhere the sentiment. I'm using liquid adhesive and attaching it to the cuff of the mitten. Put the word winter first and greetings shifted off slightly to the right. Since I'm adhering the sentiment onto the green glitter foam, it does take just a little bit longer for the glue to adhere, but once it's dry, it's not going anywhere. So there is my finished card, and I did make two using this design. This was a really fun card to make. It's been a while since I've done a shaker card. 
Now moving on to card design number two, I'm using another new stencil from Pretty Pink Posh. This is their layered snowflakes. And this set also includes three stencils to create a fun snowflake background. For the largest size snowflakes, I'm using the Bay Breeze ink color from Katherine Pooler. I love this soft teal color. And for the background, I'm using some solid white cardstock. For the tiny snowflakes, I'm using the sparkling berry ink color. I think pink and teal look so pretty together. And for the final layer, this is more the medium sized snowflakes. I have the Tranquil ink color from Katherine Pooler. It's a light bluish purple color. I think the three colors work really well together. Once I have that background all finished, I'll trim down the panel to four inches by five and a quarter inches, and I'll layer it on some green cardstock. Then I'll put some ATG tape on the back and add my card front onto a card base. Sometimes it's fun to use non-traditional colors. My first card, very traditional Christmas colors, but for this card, not so traditional winter colors. Next, I'll add a stitched oval die cut. Just adhere that in place using some liquid adhesive. For the image on my card, I'm using the new Pine Trees die set from Pretty Pink Posh. There are three different sizes included. I'm using two of the sizes. I'll attach the trunks to the back side and I'll flip over the tree to make sure I have the trunk nice and straight. Off screen, I did add some white watercolor splatter to both of the trees. I'll add some black foam dimension on the back side. Make sure to get good coverage so there isn't one area that sags. And I do need to cut a couple of the pieces really small for the very top of the tree and also the trunk. I'll remove the release paper, add the taller tree down first on the left side, then the shorter tree will go on the right. I've already stamped out the sentiment Merry Christmas, and this is from the new Happy Santa stamp set. I cut the right side at an angle, and before adhering it to the card, I will put a scrap cardstock piece on the very left side. Then I'll adhere it in the lower left hand corner using some liquid adhesive. I'll also add a small banner in the upper right hand corner using the same dark green cardstock. And I'm just cutting out that banner myself from a small scrap piece of cardstock. And I'll adhere that in place using liquid adhesive. Then for a final finishing touch, I'll add some of Pretty Pink Posh's pearls. This is the platinum color. Put three of them around the trees and two in the upper right hand corner. I'm using an embellishment wand to pick those up, adding just a small drop of liquid adhesive, then I'll press them in place. So there is my finished card and I did make two using this design. I love how this one turned out. The new layered snowflake stencil is so much fun, especially with some pretty colors. Now here's another look at the four cards I made using some new Christmas products from Pretty Pink Posh. They have lots of great new products, stamps, dies, stencils, embellishments, and it's so fun that they're a local company right here in Western Washington. If you are interested in any of the products I used in this video, I do have links provided in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day.